we ready for it. Well, here goes then. Hello, my name's Leonard, and I'm a professional monster hunter. Good day. My name's Victor. Greetings, fellow humans. My name is, um, I'm Zyke. I, uh, nearly 40 years of age. I'm looking for someone I can settle down with, you know, start a family with before planet Nibiru crashes into this flat, hollow earth which we all inhabit. Hi, I'm Walter. I'm 29. I remember the CSI. Greetings, maiden. My name is Wayne. I'm 27 years of age. Level 69 dungeon master. I'm looking for a human companion, though. You gotta be human. I'm not interested in procreating with no shape shifting reptilians. <laughs> no, sorry. What do you have a level 69 warrior? Wit of a level 90 Warwick. And the face of a Prince Charming. I'm just gonna jump right into it and tell you about my achievements. I've been in the Guinness Book of World Records seven times as a record breaker. Uh, I've been trying to track Nest, the Loch Ness Monster for quite a few months now. I've been doing it for the last four years and I absolutely love it. But if you choose to contact me by one of your devices, say for example an iPhone, make sure to remove the SIM card and swallow it because it, it, it's a well known fact, you know, that these devices, especially Apple, these working with the CIA. These are working with the CIA. They want to gather every little bit of information about you. They really want to get inside of your brain. They want to, they want, want to manipulate you through, through learning about you. And you can't allow this to happen. This is, this is scary stuff I'm trying to, to convey to you. I'm trying to get across to you because you need to know. Everybody needs to know, but nobody seems to care. No one, no, they're, they're so preoccupied, and that's where they got you. And they can't get us. We need to be preoccupied with each other and each other alone. Way back when, in 2003, I grew the world's heaviest pumpkin. It weighed 164 stone. Uh, I was tracking the Yeti over the, over, the, uh, over the mountains of India, but it tenting didn't work because I found him, but he kind of eluded me, and now I lost three toes due to first point. I beat my original record in 2004 by three pounds. I beat that in 2006 by two stone. And then I beat that in 2004, but it was only by one half of an ounce. I'm able to see through things which the Zionist controlled media may not want you to see. The globalist, fascist, elitist, militarized bastards who rule this world don't want you to know well I know I know my my third eye is well and truly open I'm quite a busy night but I'm willing to make time for you my princess I was tracking the Elmas over the over the mountains of northern Mongolia I couldn't find him at first but I turned round and he was there and nearly ripped my spleen out I'm wearing my lucky shorts as I've just got back from there and as you can see it hurt me. Then in 2009 I grew the tallest rhubarb known to man. See this all started when I uh, I found my ex-girlfriend she hung herself and um, it led me to the job I do today. It's leaves alone were 16 foot long. Cleaning up dead bodies. They already control the world and they ain't gonna control my hat. It's as clear as chemtrails on a beautiful summer's day. Who's calling the shots around here? The Zionist meteor, the Illuminati, the fascist, militarized, elitist bastards who, who, who sh call shots. They're all shape-shifting reptilians. And I'm gonna tell you right now, if you're one of those, I am not interested. I have a really busy schedule. Such as Tuesdays, I go playing Warcraft. Thursday, I go playing Warhammer. And weekends is my favourite where I go playing LARPing. I was tracking the Sasquatch as well, and I had to cover myself in bird shit, but because, as you know, the Sasquatch is afraid of, uh, afraid of birds. As Archmajor Dritor the Arkslayer. 
People need to wake up. She sheeple need to wake up. It's 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 going on all around us, you know. I I, I can see what's going on better than better than most, cause my third eye is well and truly open. I I know things. I know things. There's something um very peaceful about the dead. It's it's not sexual or anything. I'm not I'm not a freak. I just why it being around the dead? I was tracking the Yowie in Australia, but it was a short, it, it was kind of a short visit. I also speak five different languages. High Elven, Orcish, Klingon, Delfraki, Torian, and I'm also learning Castian. Uh, in a couple of weeks I'll be going to Mexico to find the uh, Chupacabra. It means goat sucker in Spanish. 2011, 2012. And then my final attempt, 2015, I tried growing the world a bigger potato, didn't I? But that was a fruitless endeavor. Because of the Latvian, he grows the biggest potatoes every year. He's also known as the Spud Lord. I have many weapons at my disposal. I have my Staff of Pleasure, my Sword of Kings, and my Shield of Many Blood. In Latvian, that's Cartapelu Cartalis. I know how, how how these these leaders they kidnap and come folk and they they drugging them and they man washing them and they turning them into blind communists just so they got an excuse to exterminate these people. In 2013, I grew the world's largest turnip. It was the size of a 1960s mini cooper. Um, this one scene that I uh, stumbled upon, as um, there was a woman. Lay so peacefully on the floor. Um, she wasn't wearing much, and I just um, lay with her. And last year, I grew the world's fattest grapes. One of them was just slightly larger than a basketball. I tend to shoot him as soon as I see him. I'm kind of a professional hunter in that sense. Hello, ladies. I forgot to mention I do have my own dungeon. Well, it's my parents' basement, but it's my dungeon. It was a uh, rather wet and damp laying in the blood, but ever so peaceful. As you can tell, my hobby is practically my life. I spend basically 102 hours on my lawn. I'm looking for a pretty girl I can take for a ride in my convertible cab and splatter all over her face in the back seat without, you know, some CIA man hiding in the gla grassy knolls with his, with his boom, boom, boom. It's not, you know, we don't need no coup d'etat for me and you to love. After lying there for several hours with my new companion, I, um, I got a knife. I began to cut her open. I took all her organs out and put them in a Ziploc bag. I have to, in order to stay on top of the game. It's a competitive world. I, I, I want, I want our, our love to burrow holes in each other's mind in much the same way Hap does in the atmosphere. After I collected my organs, I, uh, I went to the black market. Turns out you get Quite a pretty penny for her organs on the party market. I have many weapons as you know, but my main weapon are these. My dice. She didn't need them anyway. She was dead. And I'm talking true love. Not, not fake. Not, not pretend like the moon landing. Something what's not even real. It's just in people's minds. I'm wanting something between you and I, which is in our hearts, sweetheart. Uh... Uh, as I mean by shoot him, I don't mean with a camera. Now I'm gonna let you in on a little secret on how I'm so successful. You know how most people use cow dung or horse manure to fertilize their fruits? Well, I use my own waste. Might as well. There's a constant supply, and it's free. I remember the first day I became, I wanted to become a, a monster hunter. It was at Chester Zoo. I jumped into the line enclosure and square punched a tiger in the face. It was uh, intense as hell. Uh, about five seconds later, I felt a shot prick in my ass and turned out it was a tranquilizer dirt. So uh, I literally felt ill after it, so that's why I won't use tranquilizer darts. I prefer to shoot them in the face. Fertilizer is fertilizer after all. 
But let's just keep that between you and me, eh, hey, princess? Ladies, when I'm not battling trolls, I'm in my spaceship. Its name is 7XK12 Mark IV. Right, so make some time for you, whoever you may be. Maybe we can grow some love. Hey, I'm so sick of this goddamn world, you know. All these horrible little countries. I'm, I'm wanting to, to, to leave. I'm wanting to go find the lost world of Atlantis. And I'd quite like to take you along with me, you know. That sounds like... Quite an adventure, wouldn't you agree? And if my little old fella ain't up to scratch, I'll certainly grow you a marrow. It will be. It was just a, a morbid curiosity. After collecting all her organs up, I just had to feel inside her. I'll grow you a cucumber to make you go cross out with pleasure. I, uh, I then put my hand all the way up to her neck. And I played her like a puppet. So if you, 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 you know, if you know, if you know like I know, and your third eyes open, and you ain't a reptile who can shape shift, you know, get in touch, and we'll go, we'll go live out the rest of my lives together. I got a home at my IV. It's lovely. We travel about you and I. We have some real fun. We had quite a chat. It was also peaceful. If I sound like you're a perfect cosplaying hunk and you want to be my Princess Leia, get in touch and we'll live long and prosperous. So if you're happy to make time for me, then I'll be happy to make time for you. Please get in touch and together we can explore each other's mind, body and soul. Namaste. If you want to, if you want to get in contact with me, that's, that's perfectly fine. Uh, you can let you can literally hold my shotgun while you can blast a, blast my monster in the face. So if I sound like the man for you, then please, get in touch. Not meaning to brag, but I've already caught every Pokemon in Pokemon Go.